Here it is. Oh, this is a really good reference point, okay, because it not only shows you the anatomical view, right, so you can see exactly how it works in the anatomy, but it, then it gives you this graphic view, you know, which is a very good approximation, you know, a good way of understanding it. Number five, the largest lip opening, as in remarkable. Remarkable. So, so the thing about this number five vowel that's different from like learning English is a, it's the same, the same vowel in our system, the number five, when it has an R in it, like remarkable, as it has without an R, like in father. It's the same, it's the same vowel for us. The only difference is you're adding an R sound. Father was remarkable. Father was remarkable. Okay, uh, am I seeing you kind of pull down or working too hard, right, at pulling down the chin and not stretching forward enough? Father was remarkable. Right. You feel the difference when I, when I point that out? Because I, I think that's what, that's what I'm seeing. You just be careful that, you know, it, it is a stretch, you know, but it needs to be come from, always, like everything, come from a relaxed place. And then for the number four vowel, one uh, description Lessac gives for this is it's box-like, right? This rectangular shape. So you start with a number five, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, and then and then the lips actually move forward more, ah, uh, oh, ah, uh, oh, ah, uh, oh, uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, that's good. It's very good. Now the mistake people make is they tend to close down and make it smaller, right? It, and it's still a very big opening. Look, it's just as tall an opening as the number five. Only the shape of it has changed. So this is the number four vowel, as in box, box, beyond, beyond. Good, good. So then the number three, the midway position, is a step down from that, keystone position, thumb size. And this is, again, it's, it has an R vowel connected to it sometimes. It's all, as in call, call, but it's also the or, as in normal. Normal. Right, right. And creating that big opening for that helps carry that R sound. It helps project that R sound where a lot of people, R's and L's create a lot of difficulty. And for a lot of people, the R tends to go back in the throat. R, R. It gets, it gets back there. But using this structural shape for remarkable and normal projects it forward. Normal. Good. Then we've got the 51, the two-stage vowel, a number two size opening following through into a number one. And again, you want to be sure that you're giving a lot of articulation to that second stage. So it's O, 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 right, as, o. In, as in close. Close. Right. But you see a lot of people with accents will say close, close. Yeah, they're, they're just making it like a single vowel instead of putting that second stage in. Close. Close. And naturally when you get into normal conversation, it's not going to be so deliberate. But because you've practiced it with all of this deliberation and all of this stretch, it's going to be remembered in your muscles and in the sense memory. So even though you won't have to give this much effort into making it a very deliberate number one, it will come out that way. Okay. Then we've got the number one, the smallest lip opening. Ooh, as in school. Ooh, school. And the number five we just did, the largest lip opening following through into the smallest. 
Ow, as in sound. Ow, sound. Good. Sound. And then the number six. Again, starting with the number five is the way to find this. Ah, uh, ah. And then, see, all I do is I start with a five, and then I bring the tongue forward, so the tip of my tongue is pressed against the lower teeth. Ah, uh, ah, 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 as in half. Ah, uh, 